So you've spilled some water on your MacBook. What do you do? We're gonna be talking about that right now. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and we are looking at five things that you need to do if you have spilt water or any sort of liquid on your laptop, specifically a MacBook. Now this has happened to me. It was rain, came in through my roof, my laptop was drenched in a puddle of water. I freaked out, but I did these five steps and I was able to get my laptop up and running and it is fine. I didn't even have to replace any parts because the water drained out, the components inside dried and I was okay. Number one, take the power out of your computer. Unplug it. You do not want an electrical current running into your MacBook. Number two, power it down. Shut it down as soon as you can, even holding down that power button for about 10 seconds until it completely shuts down. You don't want your MacBook running with water inside of it. Number three, turn it upside down. Let gravity do its job. Turning it upside down, make sure that the water essentially flows to the sides of your laptop, to the bottom of your laptop, away from all the important components inside of your laptop and let gravity just take that water out of your computer. Number four is leaving it in that state for around two to three days. Do not power it on straight away. Whatever you do, do not power it on once it has been powered off. You need to let the water drain out. You need to make sure that all the components inside dry. So leaving it for two to three days is one of the best things that you can do to ensure that you can at least get something back or get your laptop up and running again. And number five, take it to a specialist that can actually open it up and have a look whether there has been significant water damage into your computer. You can take it down to your local Apple store, they will open it up and they will give you a diagnosis on what sort of water damage has occurred within your computer. They're my five top tips. Following these five steps, you may be able to recover your MacBook. That's it for now. Thank you so much for spending these short few minutes with me. Hopefully you found it helpful and hopefully your MacBook, your MacBook Pro was able to uh, be working again. Perhaps let me know in the comments whether this has worked for you, whether you were able to successfully turn your laptop on again. Uh, like this video as well and subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, to be kept up to date and not miss any of my video releases. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.